Using that the sum from n is 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial is equal to e to the x, show the probability generating function for a Poisson distribution, x belonging to Poisson lambda, is given by g of t is equal to e to the minus lambda, brackets 1 minus t. Prove that the mean and the variance are both lambda. The PDF of a discrete random variable x is given by gt, the sum of all x, or probability of x is equal to x times t to the x. Consider x is belonging to a Poisson lambda. Probability that x is equal to x is lambda to the power of x e to the minus lambda over x factorial. So g of x of t is going to be e of t to the x. So that's going to be the sum from x is equal to 0 to lambda of t to the x of times the probability, which is lambda to the x e to the minus lambda over x factorial. And we've used this idea here. This gives me, if I take out e to the lambda of the sigma sign, it gives me e to the lambda of x to 0 to infinity of t lambda to the x over x factorial. Now we're going to use this idea here and say that this is e to the what's ever in here which is t lambda. So we get e to the lambda, e to the t lambda which is e to the minus lambda plus t lambda which is gives me that g, the probability generating function, g of t, is e to the lambda brackets 1 minus t, which is what I had to prove. Right, now we have to prove that the mean and the variance are both lambda. So, for a probability generating function, e of x, the mean, is equal to g dash to 1. So if we differentiate this, so first expanding it, so g of t is equal to e to the minus lambda, e to the lambda, using rules of indices on this. Differentiating, we're going to get g dash to t is lambda e to the minus lambda e to the minus e to the lambda t, sorry, plus lambda t. g dash to 1 is going to be lambda e to the minus lambda e to the lambda times 1. Now e, that's going to give me lambda e to the minus lambda plus lambda which is going to give me lambda times e to the 0, e to the 0 is 1, which gives me lambda, which is what I was going to expect. To find the variance of x, we need to find g double dash to 1 plus g dash to 1 minus g dash to 1 all squared. So we need to find g double dash to 1. g dash to t from the previous part is lambda e to the minus lambda e to the lambda t. Differentiated again, I'm going to get lambda squared, because the lambda is going to come down the front, this is just a constant, so it's e to the minus lambda, e to the lambda t. g double dash to 1 will be lambda squared e to the minus lambda, e to the lambda times 1, which gives me lambda squared e to the minus lambda plus lambda using rules of indices, which gives me lambda squared times e to the 0, which gives me lambda squared. Substituting everything into this, the variance of x is going to be lambda squared plus lambda minus lambda squared, which is going to give me lambda, which is what I expected. So e of x is equal to lambda, and the variance of x is equal to lambda, as expected.